Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to game number 31 of 64. This is the opening match from group H of the second round of fixtures. As which that means that means that all the other seven groups have played their two games. This is the last group that started the second round of games. Here's Poland's national anthem, and Poland is wearing their road red. Um, that was my choice, by the way. The game had them wear the white. I, uh, let's put some flavor on this field. White is kind of a little bit of a boring color sometimes. Made them wear their road red. Colombia, the game had Colombia wear their yellow. Now, if you guys remember, back in the day, Colombia's second jersey used to be blue, so there it is. I actually created that one because it didn't, the game did not have them a blue jersey. They had them in red and yellow. So I gave them the blue jersey for this game that they used to own. So this is Colombia, Poland. Poland already has three points. They defeated Senegal in the in game back in game 15 with a two to one score. That was a really good game, which uh, it was Poland one nothing. Senegal tied it, and then and then um, Poland took the lead for good late in the game. And they won the game two to one. While Colombia in the first match got hammered by Japan. Four to nothing. Like, wow. Four to nothing. Yes. They got hammered really good. Four to nothing. Can Colombia get three points in this game and put themselves in contention to advance to the knockout stage where they where they round three uh, when in round three when they play uh, Senegal? Watch and see. I'm just as curious as you are right now as I'm recording it, but. When you guys watch it, I already it's will know the result, <laughs> but I won't say it. So Colombia in their alternate blue, Poland in their alternate red. <clears throat> alternate blue with the yellow shorts. And Poland in their all red jersey. Uh, groups A through G is um, the only the only two groups that um, that is going according to like what people have been predicting is groups A and G. In Group A, you have Uruguay with six points, and then you got Egypt with three points and Russia with three points, and then you got Saudi Arabia with no points. Um, Egypt is over Saudi. Egypt is over um, Russia because of goal differential. In Group B, you got Spain with four points, Morocco with three points, Portugal with three points, and Iran with a point. You, in that group, um, Morocco is over Portugal right now due to the goal differential. In Group C, you got Denmark, four points, Australia, two points, France, two points, and Peru, one point. Australia is over France, not due to goal differential, but goal scored. They have the same goal differential. But goal scored is the tight is the reason why Australia is ahead of France at the moment. France can still win the group though. All they gotta do is beat Denmark and hope hope that Australia does not beat Peru by a certain amount. Australia can win against Peru and France can beat Denmark and France can still win the group. But France has to hope that they they have more Who's goals the scored or a Zinsky. better goal differential than than Denmark, I mean than uh, Australia by the end of the third round of matches. 
but Peru is very capable of beating Australia. So that group C is completely back. wide open. It's and there is Poland threatening, threatening, but couldn't, couldn't score against Colombia. A draw for Colombia right here doesn't do them too good because their goal differential is a negative four. Yeah, they lost four to nothing to Japan. I don't know how in the world Japan was like, Japan was high on that game. Japan was like hitting all cylinders that game and Colombia was not. That was the worst I've seen Colombia play in a while. Kukovic. Here comes Pola. Ooh. A little bit. The ball bounced a little bit too much forward in favor of Colombia. If that ball would have not bounced too much forward, that would have been one nothing, I believe. Here comes Colombia. Here comes James Rodriguez. Out wide to the right. Kovia nice to get it forward quickly. So, and Brzezinski. Group D got Croatia with six points, Argentina with three Four points, Nigeria with three points, and um, Iceland with All zero points. The, the reason why Argentina is over Nigeria is because of goal scored once again. They have the same goal differential, but goal scored is the reason why Argentina is ahead of Nigeria. And they will meet in round three of six years. That will be game number, that will be game, let me see. That will be game 38, Argentina, Nigeria. Stay tuned for that in the coming days. I'll probably be able to bring that game to you guys. Uh, Maybe this is game 30. Yeah, the idea was uh, 31. Right. The delivery probably by in the, or the next two days. So here's halftime of game number 31 between Poland and Colombia. Not the 31st time they met. This is game 31 of the World Cup, and it happens to be these two. And it's 0 0, 0 0 at the half. Colombia needs to win this game or they or they're gonna be in trouble of trying to qualify or they minus four going into game three with no points or one point zero points you can pretty much count them out in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes things really should improve well cow with a long toss out wide time to deliver this check Gets it back. Aimed low and direct. Locks it in gently. Floats it through. Don't tell me this is going to be another 0-0. Zero, zero. There's already been two 0-0s zero, in this World Cup. Such game chance. number 5 and game number 26, which was uh, Serbia versus Perfect Switzerland. Feet. So who's he Game number out? five was France who's versus Australia. Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Milik can take all the credit for reading the situation, but careless defense played its part. Colombia is playing much better this, this game than they did against Japan. Heaves it forward. He'll hit it. Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. It's so and Iceland is eliminated in Group E. Now in Group E, you've got Brazil again. four points, Serbia the four Kobe points, um, Costa Rica. One point and Switzerland, one point. Brazil is over Serbia due to goal differential. Um, Serbia is over Switzerland and for, for third place be also because of goal differential. But any of the four teams can advance. Um, and Group F, 
We got Sweden with four points. South Korea with three points. Germany with two points. Mexico with one point. Any of the 14. Here's Colombia. Colombia scores. James Rodriguez. Colombia comes to life. That's their first goal of the World Cup, and it puts them in prime position to maybe advance. If they can hold on to the win, they'll be in good shape going into game three with three points. They need two. They need. They need to. They need. Uh, they need victories. They, they. You know. They cannot afford ties because their goal differential is so bad. So this kind of opens up this group. It really does. And if Senegal beats Japan, guess what? We're gonna. This group will be the only group with um, all four teams going into Game Three with three points. That's if this result stands, and that's if Senegal beats Japan. There's still a lot of ball to be played in this game. Somewhat. Colombia. So it's one nothing Colombia over it's Poland. It's so often the case with goal scores, little influence, and all of a sudden, bang. It's done well to tidy up the situation. Cooks out to the wing. Can Colombia hold on for the win? This group, this World Cup just keeps getting more interesting and more interesting as it goes on. Like, there's been so many. This is not really a surprise. These are two. This is like the most wide open group of the World Cup. You know, because this is the only group that does not have a former world champion in it. Goods there could be a world champion well, coming out of this group. Of this is a World Cup with a year number eight. As I said back in um, video number, Luis Muriel, no, video Floyd. number thirteen, and I think I said it in video number three. Um, I said it in one of my previous videos that. That, that dating back to 1958, there has been a new champion each time when the cup was a, had a year with an eight. Because 1958, if you guys look up history, that was Brazil's first ever title, first ever World Cup title. 1978, it happened again. First title for Argentina. 1998, it happened again. First title for France. So, and the only similarity between 78 and 98 is that they were hosts. 1958, Brazil was not a host. Brazil was a, a visitor playing in Switzerland, playing in Sweden. That was the only time Sweden hosted the World Cup. I don't think Russia will win it, but. There are like three or four teams that never won before that can win the whole thing. And that's Belgium, Portugal, Poland, um, I was going to say Switzerland. Uh, well, to me it's Belgium, Portugal, Poland, and Colombia are the top four teams, in my opinion, that can win the whole thing, that never won the whole thing before. And you could probably throw Switzerland in there as well. And that's it, folks. Colombia wins game 31. They get themselves three points. They are alive in Group H. Poland stays at three points. What will happen between Japan and Senegal? Watch and see. Because now this group all of a sudden got very interesting. So I'm Luciano. I'm signing off. Till the next video. Video 32. It will be, an, it will be Africa versus Asia. That's always fun. Because you don't know who's going to win those. This game was also you didn't know who's gonna win. It's two middle tired, two middle tired teams, you know. So 
uh, have a good Sunday, y'all. See y'all later. God bless. Peace.